Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Three Stacks in this thing, and today I'm gonna show you how you can uh, FTK with Infernities. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, long story short, if you're able to get an Archfiend in your hand and then Pendulum summon him along with every other card in your hand, you're gonna win. Um, and that's it, it. Doesn't really matter any combination of cards that can get you Archfiend first and then an empty hand, you're gonna be able to FTK. Um, so. Uh, I guess let's grab a, like a, a three card combo to show you how to do the FTK. Um, so let's do let's do something like this. Let's do this play. Mm. Plus the monk, right? Uh, yeah. Let's let's throw the monk in there. Uh, do I need the charger? Uh, not right now. So let's throw the monk in there. Um, so we're just gonna imagine that we always have the discard fodder because half of our deck is spells and half of our deck is monsters. So pretty much gonna open up with a, a combination of both every turn. Uh, so you're gonna imagine that you have the fodder for your monk. This is an FTK right here, just off these. Uh, Pendulum Call is gonna pitch this, and you're gonna add your two high scales. Uh, you control no monsters. Go ahead and special that dark one. Grab your donut. Now you're gonna normal summon your monk. Uh, remember, you know you're always gonna have to discard fodder him. Similar to Predator Plant Ophira Scorpio, when you open with it, you already can use it because you you place too many cards that are gonna be the fodder for it. Um, and then you're gonna bring out your Armageddon Knight. So just discard the spell that you have in your hand. Summon Armageddon Knight. Uh, his effect is going to dump your Archfiend Eris. Uh, you're going to grab your Infinity Archfiend after we dump the Eris. Uh, next, we are going to Link Summon. Uh, you have a Dark Dragon, a Dark Spellcaster, and a Dark Warrior. They all have the same attribute, but all are different types. And you're going to summon your boy, the man himself, Kyrios. Uh, Kyrios is going to dump Destrudo. And you're going to mill three random cards. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so we'll just pretend like we milled three, right? And then we're going to go scale Donut. We're going to go scale uh, Blackfang. We're going to Pendulum Summon one from our extra deck, being the uh, the Pendulum that got sent from the field uh, for the Link Zone of Kyrios. And then these two from hand. Uh, you're going to have Turn Player Priority, Chain Link 1, Infernity Archfiend, and Chain Link 2, Harmonizing Magician. Uh, so Chain Link 2 is going to bring out a Purple Poison. And then uh, Chain Link 1 is going to grab us an Infernity Necromancer. Uh, it takes a lot um, of like... It takes a lot to get to the setup where you can FTK, but it's pretty fun while you're getting ready for the FTK because you're just spamming and looping and spamming and looping and uh, searching like every card in your deck. It's really, really fun. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, so you're going to add your Necromancer. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to... Uh, let's see, cause we can we can make up. Uh, we can also make Skull Dread, cause like we're still gonna be able to make Firewall. But I guess let's go for Skull Dread because Skull Dread's fun. Um, let's go for Curios. Let's go for Purple Poison. Let's go for Archfiend and let's go for Harmonizing. Uh, so we're gonna do four with different names, and it actually doesn't matter what you draw as long as it's something that can be set. Um, so, whoop, look at that. It's something that can be set. Let's get the terraforming. Uh, we're not even going to use it. Uh, we're just making the Skull Dread because we can. And we're going to be able to extend by special summoning from our hand. Any effect that lets you special from your hand and is, in, is indeed an extender. So set that. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and activate his effect. Uh, well, you're not activating his effect yet. What you're actually going to do now is you're going to activate the Shrudo. Pay half. Target your gate. And then you're going to Synchro for seven. So you've made your Curios, you made your Skull Dread. Um, now you're going to make your um, your Firewall. So you're going to Synchro for 7. You're going to summon Galaxy Tomahawk. Uh, I'm sorry, I said Synchro Summon for Galaxy Tomahawk. Oh, LOL, man. Slow your road. Uh, summon Meteor Burst. His effect is going to special summon your Donut. Now you're going to summon Galaxy Tomahawk. You're having a lot of fun, I promise, while you're getting to the loot. People are looking and they're like, okay, he's just going to link spam. They don't understand that they're actually going to die this turn. Uh, so you're going to detach his materials, summon four other monsters. 
Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to link with Tomahawk and three of the other monsters. Um, let's just go Tomahawk and just three randoms. Because uh, you're going to put Firewall here. So I guess we're going to keep one of the monsters that's in column number three. So let's put a token right here in column number three. And then you're going to link with Tomahawk and the other three tokens. And go ahead and summon your looper. The man himself, Firewall Dragon. Um, and you have one more token right here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use Skulldred's Effect to special summon this Necromancer from hand. You have no cards in hand. Um, and then you're going to use Necromancer's Effect. Uh, you're going to... Why did I put my Archfiend in my extra deck? Whoops. I put my Archfiend in the extra deck like a Riri. Okay, so you're going to special summon your Archfiend next to the token that's in column number three. So you've got column number one, column number two, column number three, four, five. Uh, so Archfiend is going to go ahead and search you another copy of Necromancer. This is a proxy. Uh, my deck is missing two Necromancers, one Mirage, and one Launcher. Four cards. That's all it's missing. Um, so I'm proxying for those three cards. Sorry, guys, but it's almost complete. I've been working really hard on getting this deck. Uh, so we're going to search another Necromancer. Uh, at least we have one, so you see what we're searching, Necromancer. Um, and then what you're going to do is that token that was right here and this Archfiend, you're going to link summon with uh, both of them. And you're going to go ahead and get your Firewall co link by two, summoning a Proxy Dragon. Uh, separate Chain Link, Firewall, a monster they pointed to left the field. So you're going to special summon this Necromancer from hand. Then you're going to activate its effect to summon your Archfiend. Uh, you're going to use Archfiend, search for the other Necromancer. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. So yeah, I did tell you it's two Necromancer, one Mirage, and one Launcher. Yep, yep, yep. Those are the four cards. Uh, so you're searching a second, a third copy of Necromancer. And then um, basically both these Necromancers have been used. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna overlay. You're gonna go into your MX Saber Invoker. You're going to detach for his effect and you're gonna summon out your wind condition. You're gonna get out Archer. Um, while Firewall is calling by two, you're going to do something really weird. Um, trust me, this is going to work. Uh, you're going to use Firewall to add, um, you're going to bounce Armageddon Knight. And you're going to put back, hmm, what else do we want to put back? So you're bouncing Armageddon Knight for sure. And we don't want to bounce Firewall himself. Um, not yet. Um, so you know what, I'm going to bounce... Um, the Armageddon Knight, and what should we put back? I guess we can just put back our Curious, right? So uh, Armageddon Knight and Curious. Um, you have two cards in hand, being the third Necromancer and the um, Armageddon Knight. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to activate um, Archer's Effect. You're going to tribute two monsters for cost. You're going to tribute the Proxy Dragon and the Infernity Archfiend to inflict 1200 damage to your opponent. So they're at 6,800 life points. So what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna start at 12. So it's 12 right now. Separate chain link, firewall dragon's gonna special summon a monster from your hand. Um, the monster you special summon is gonna be Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight's gonna activate his effect, dump your Zephyros. This is all part of the combo. It's really cool. It's loopy. Um, and this is like, um, this is an original combo. There's a lot of ways you can FTK, and this is the way that I pretty much taught myself how to do. Uh, so you're going to dump the Zephyros. Then you're going to go ahead and activate Archer. And you're going to tribute these two monsters that Firewall points to, the Armageddon Knight and the x Saber Invoker. And that's another 1200, so it's 24. Separate Chain Link Firewall is going to go ahead and special summon the third Necromancer from your hand in the zone that he points to. Now you're going to activate that uh, third Necromancer. And bring back your Archfiend, activate Archfiend's effect. And you're going to go ahead and add your Infernity Mirage. It's either Mirage or Launcher. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Mirage right now. So you're going to add back, um, bring back your, bring your, um, bring your Archfiend back and then search your Mirage. Then you're going to go ahead and activate Amazonist Archer again. And you're going to tribute two monsters for costs. And that's 3,600. So our opponent's at 44. Separate Chain Link Firewall is going to special summon this Infernity Mirage right here. Um, and then we're going to use Mirage's effect. We have no cards. Um, and we're going to bring back two uh, Necromancers over here, both in the zones that Firewall points to, just because. Then we're going to use one Necromancer. 
bring back Archfiend, use Archfiend's effect. We're going to search our Infernity launcher. Or wait, wait, no, no, no. We're going to search the launcher last. Um, we're going to search Bishop because he's going to be another extender. So our opponent's taking 3,600 damage so far. And this Necromancer has been used. Or let's just say the one that's a proxy has been used. So I can keep the one that has, that's the actual card. Uh, Archer is going to tribute two for cost. That's 4,800. Um, you have no cards in your hand. You can just special Bishop through his own effect. Um, then you're going to use this Necromancer that hasn't been used. Special Archfiend. Uh, use Archfiend's effect. You're going to go ahead and grab a uh, Infernity Launcher. And I believe that was 3,600. If I'm not mistaken. So our opponent's at 44. Then you're going to go ahead and activate Archer again. You're going to tribute the uh, Patriarch and the Archfiend. And you're going to uh, inflict 1,200 more. So your opponent has taken 4,800 damage. So um, yeah, 12, 24, 36, 48. So they should be at 32 now. Then you're going to activate your Launcher. You have no cards in hand. Um, what you're going to go ahead and do is use your Archer one more time. Um, before you do launcher, you're gonna send off your necromancer and your sorry is just skull dread and That's gonna be um, 6,000 now because 48 plus 12. Um, now they've taken 6,000 then you're gonna do launchers effect and you're gonna bring back both your um, your necromancers And you're gonna use one necromancer special archfiend um, I don't play barrier or break but this is the point where you just like add insult to injury by searching traps um, why you're going to burn them for death. Um, so let's just imagine that this is an Infernity Barrier. We searched it. Um, we set it. Then you use Archer. Um, so this Necromancer brought this back. You use Archer. Um, your opponent's taking 6,000. Now they've taken 72. They're at 800 life points. Uh, then you're going to use Necromancer again, right? Bring back Archfiend. Search out the... So this is Barrier. This is Break. We're just pretending because this is going to be cute. And then what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to use Archer's Effect again. And we're going to burn our opponent for game, uh, tributing these two. They're at 800. Now they've taken 12. But no, no, no. We like to add insult to injury. So what we're going to do after we've already killed our opponent is we're going to make Baguska with a Infernity Barrier and an Infernity Break set down. And we're going to pass turn. But they're already dead. Um, and another thing to note in the middle of this combo. Um, so let's go back to where we were. Because there's a reason why I sent the Zephyros because it's a safety precaution measure. Sometimes in the middle of your combo, you get stopped and you can't burn enough, right? Like if they go over you well timed, this is where the Zephyros comes in. So if your opponent still had life points left, you'll activate Zephyros, the elite's effect from grave, bounce your Necromancer to hand, special him. And then um, you're going to special in the zone that firewall points to. Then you're going to Archer, tribute these two, burn for 12, uh, separate chain link, special this from hand with firewall, and then use this. To bring this back and then uh, tribute again and then still kill them. So um, the, the Zephyros guarantees 2400 extra burn damage just by sending it to the grave. Um, so by definition, it can be an extender. But for the most part, it is literally your um, your backup plan. Because when you commit all these resources and um, you're pretty much dedicated to FTK and your opponent, you want to make sure that you can get as much damage as you possibly can. Sometimes you want to be sure that you can get over 8000 because stuff happens. Like, like I said, a properly timed ghost soaker or just anything that's this, a form of disruption, um, it can hurt. And the Zephyros definitely helps. The Destrudo definitely helps. Um, those two, one of uh, Grave Extenders, are incredible. Um, so that's pretty much how you FTK with Infernities. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Um, I can show you at least 12 different ways to do it. Um, but the way I showed you right now is pretty much explaining what I just said. If you can get an uh, Archfiend in hand... And then um, special summon him along with all your other cards so that you have no cards in hand. And resolve your Archfiend's effect. It's game time pretty much. Um, also, stay tuned for future content for this deck because I actually am going to be playing around with Infernities for a, a while. Um, I'm probably just going to keep them and not drop them and just keep playing with them because I really do love the deck. It's fun. Um, it's, not, it's never really fun for the opponent. And even if this deck can't FTK, um, it can actually do this. It can make this, this. Where's my Borlo Dragon at? <laughs> All right, we're just going to pretend that this is Borlo Dragon because you can make this, this, uh, Borlo. Then you can make this, but it's still not done. You make this and Barrier, Break. Um, So this is still a powerful board, and you make this just by summoning Archfiend while you have no cards in hand. 
Um, if you play Barrier and Infernity Barrier and Infernity Break in your um in your deck, um, you can pretty much do this. And the last monster that you're gonna end um at the end of your combo is going to be Archfiend himself. Um, you can leave the Necromancer, but I like to leave the Archfiend because like he's Archfiend. Um, so at the end of it, this is your board. And you don't actually use the firewall to make this board. So the firewall is calling by three right now, which is deadly. The board load is there. Uh, the Baguska is ready. The board load is going to protect Baguska from being attacked over. Because when they summon that decal talker, you're going to chain board load to shrink the decal to 18. They can't respond to negate and tribute. Because uh, you can't respond to that effect of board load. So they can't get over Sleepy Boy. Then they still have to deal with the Infernity Barrier and the break. And uh, if they have the chance to break this board, they have to OTK you or they're going to die. Um, So this is the board that you can make by special summoning him while you have no cards in hand um this card actually should have been banned but they kept it at one and that's why the the infernity dream is still alive um but god bless you guys make good choices don't hurt your brain cells stay tuned for future content um and i'm gonna go ahead and sign out for the night but you will be hearing from me tomorrow for the uh winner of the mat giveaway peace yo